Hey guys, Big Apple Airsoft here with the review on the HK Umarex licensed MP5A5 full metal with the rails and the retractable stock. So, to start off, I got this gun for $275 at my local airsoft store, and it does not come with a battery, so I purchased a Intellect 1600 milliamp 96, and I pretty much only recommend nunchucks that are either 96 or 84. You can go with a lipo, it'll probably pretty be pretty easy to fit in there, but space is very limited inside the handguard, so even with this battery in it, it's pretty pretty tight fit. So this one shoots anywhere from 345 to 350 FPS when I chronoed it at my uh, local field. Uh, perfect for CQB, and I do recommend it for outdoor too because it's got a nice inner barrel, especially with a silencer, which usually I have on, but it's not on the gun right now. And they also throw in this uh, flash hider that goes on, but I don't, I don't, know, I don't really use it. So one thing that you see on the gun but does not come with is the red dot and the rail it's on. Two things. The rail is a uh, Palco Sports MP5 rail, 15 bucks off Amazon, and the red dot's $55 NC Star green and red, four reticle flashlight. I mean, not, no, not flashlight, red dot, reflex. And uh, sadly, I had to keep it on the gun because I stripped that hex screw right there, and it's not coming off with this one. So. But uh, it doesn't really bother me because I need a flashlight for this gun. The sights are really low to the gun, and I don't have room to fit my mask uh, right here and look down these two sights. Uh, speaking of sights, the uh, rear sight has four options. I don't know if you could see them. Yeah, there we go. There's one, there's a second, third, and the biggest one right there. You can see it through the hole. And the front sight is just stays like that, not adjustable. Okay, so let's start from the back. It's got a nice rubber uh, padding for when you put it on your shoulder. No, not on your shoulder. Uh, yeah, near your shoulder. Uh, it's got a sling point. I guess you could use it, maybe put some paracord in there uh, to take out the, uh, to pull out the stock. You're going to want to move this. Uh, tab right here over this way and then just pull it out unlike most mp5s this stock only has two positions closed and out but i keep it closed since cqb you want to keep your gun as small as possible so you can get around corners and stuff so i'm gonna keep it closed uh we have sling mount here and here so i already talked about the re the rear sight right underneath this rail is the licensed uh, where it says H and K MP five A five because it's licensed instead of MK five or anything else that another brand would call it. Uh, on this side, we've got a warning, and Umarex holds the licensing for H and K. So go on to the lower and upper receiver. Lower is all plastic, like every MP five on the market. Trigger is metal and pretty nice. You got a lot of room in here for your gloves and stuff. And your upper receiver is fully metal. It says for trades caliber 6mm BB. And I already talked about up here with the HK MP5A5. And a serial number right here. And ambidextrous. This gun is almost fully ambidextrous. The uh, stock. Release thing is ambidextrous, I guess. Uh, ambidextrous trigger selector. Uh, ambidextrous mag release. And strangely enough, there's two mag releases. There's the one I just showed you right here. You just push it in. Take out your mag. And they have like an M4 one right here. But that one is really out of reach. Like if I'm holding my gun like this and then I want to go for it, my finger doesn't reach it at all. And nobody else that I know can reach it. So you have to like really reach for it. But... I don't think anybody uses that because this one's so much easier to acquire. You're shooting your gun. Oh, got to reload, take it out, put in a new mag. 
to get to the mag. Uh, the gun comes with a 200 round high cap winding. Uh, you open it from here, which I actually didn't know because this is my first MP5. Uh, so that's the mag. I've got three of them, but two. I only have two here because the other one broke the little pin right here. If that comes out, this whole mag comes apart. And I'm just going to have to tape it. So those are the two mags I have. They're both 200. One problem I had was I bought a Dogs of War MP5 mid cap. And it actually doesn't fit in this specific gun. So I had to get high caps. But they do make mid caps to fit in this gun. It's just the main thing is Dogs of War mid caps do not work in this gun. So motor, really good compared to my g and 4 it's got a lot of torque to, this gun shoots about 15 BBs per second on a 9.6, 15 to 16, depending on how charged the battery is, how fully charged it is. Uh, okay, now it's going towards the front. Charging handle. Since HK makes the real MP5s for military and stuff and the Navy, they made this one so you can do the, H, the famous HK slap. It is made for this. It's not going to break. You can do it as much as you want. Most MP5s, you do it a couple times in a row. Goodbye, uh, charging handle. So, when you pull it back, it locks over here. Reveals your hop-up. Which, pulling this black tab back, adds hop-up forward. Reduces hop-up. And this gun is blowback. So, every time you pull the trigger, and there's a BB loaded, that thing will come back all the way every time. Like that. And when there's not a BB loaded, it'll just come back like that. Very little. Because there's no BB being loaded. So as I said, charging handle is made for the h and slap. Which is really fun. It's got three rails. One here, one on the bottom for grips, and one on this side. I use this one for my flashlight, my laser, and my Magpul grip. And a sling point at the front and 14 millimeter counterclockwise threads. So now, we'll, I'll show you how to install your battery. There's a pin right here. I don't know if you can see it. Here. Right there. And it's also on the other side. And then you're just gonna wanna push it on the side. You'll, you'll get it if you have this gun. You'll understand. You're just gonna wanna pull it out. Just make sure you don't lose that pretty main part and then you're going to want to pull the rails forward down and forward again so there you got your rails you can adjust them with the hex screw and your battery connector and your fuse if you're in the middle of a game and you're on the field and you got to change your fuse it's kind of be it's going to be kind of a problem cuz there's this plastic uh, cover on it going from here all the way over here and I don't know about taking it off. It's not going to be a quick fuse change. So, getting your battery in. You take what you did that. You plug it in. There's your battery. And do a test fire. Pretty loud. Got a nice sound to it. Oh, and I'll show you the blowback. It doesn't blow back all the way, though. That's without BBs. But with BBs, as I said, it'll go back to there. And looks really nice. So that's the battery. Installing it's really hard, as I said. You're gonna want to push the batteries to the sides, and then put all of, all of this stuff dead center. That's how I do it. I find it to be pretty easy. I mean, well, not easy, but it's a lot easier than probably any other way of doing it. So you don't want to put your rails back on. Maybe you're, Make sure you're not pinching any wires. That would not be good for the gun. And you're not going to want to buy extra parts for this. Probably expensive. And push your pin back in. There you go. Your MP5's got your battery in it. You got and play. So I definitely recommend this for any beginner or even expert. This is probably the best MP5 you can get on the market other than the Sistema one, which I've never seen anybody have that one, or maybe a Tokyo Marui, but this is definitely one of the best. 
It is GNG internals. It is made from the GNG Full Metal MP5, except HK went the uh, the extra to make it licensed. Uh, actually, and how I noticed it's made by GNG, it actually has their logo right there. Uh, well, not their logo. It says GNG. Um, what else? Take down. I'm sorry. I have no idea how to take it down. I know it involves this pin right here. But, and this, maybe that one. I have no idea. I don't want to really ruin this gun. It's too good to ruin. And I recommend it for any outdoor or indoor player. It's perfect size for indoor. If you have to get close up to the gun, go around the corner. And it's good for outdoor. You extend the stock. Got a nice FPS. Got a great range. Take it across the map. Uh, across the field. Uh, I'm hoping I didn't forget anything. So, this uh, concludes our review on the H&K Full Metal MP5 A5. Remember, it's licensed. That's why it's worth more than the regular Full Metal G&G M4. I mean, M MP5. And, what else? We will have a dual review of this gun being compared to a, possibly an Echo 1 MP5. Which, we might have a review coming out soon of that. And, one more thing. As you can see, there's orange right here. Uh, I actually spray painted over this to make it more, like if this was my silencer, just to completely make it black because that orange is kind of bright. It's brighter than this orange, so it's kind of annoying having an all black little orange and then black silencer, but... So, yeah, that concludes our review. This is Big Apple Airsoft signing out. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and we're out.